welcome everyone my name is Marlene the creator behind Tones Caribbean Body a project that was started from the onset of COVID-19 where I simply share with you holistic solutions for a healthier lifestyle welcome to part two in our four-part series fireside cooking in Trinidad and Tobago how to build a tire fireside now fire on top and fire below it's a common phrase that is used in Trinidad and Tobago when you're making reference to fireside cooking however the location of the fire will depend on the dish that you're making for instance if you're making a dish that entails boiling then you will only require fire on top if you're making a dish that is Bake, for example a cake or a pone or pizza even you will need a fire on top and a fire below but let's not get too far ahead of ourselves let's continue with the series and very soon you'll be having your own fun with your very own fireside enjoy we continue this week where we left off last week by filling the tires that have been placed on the designated spot for the tire fireside. If you recall, the dirt that is now being used to fill the tires is what was taken out from the garden beds that we had to get rid of when we decided to build our tire fireside. And if you noticed, the simple task of gardening helps it build those muscles given the kind of activity that gardening work involves. Now the secret to ensuring that the tires remain stable is just to pack that dirt in each and every crease and crevice of the tires. Just pack it really, really good so that it goes nowhere. Enlisting the help of some simple gardening tools will make the job a whole lot easier. However, if you don't have uh, these tools, this is a matak that my dad is using to pack the dirt and just to grind it up a little bit more. If you don't have one of these, then you can simply use a gardening fork that will just help you to get uh, rid of those large pieces of dirt. The height of the fire sign and the amount of tires that you pack one on top of the other will depend on the height of the people or the person that is utilizing the fire side. We packed four tires on top of each other because I'm five foot four, I'm not that tall. But a taller person may need to pack more tires, maybe five or six. Or a shorter person may need not much they may just need three so just look at the height of the person that will be using the tires so that you'll have a better understanding as to how many tires to pack on top each other Here my dad is utilizing a piece of wood to make sure that the dirt gets into the tires a whole lot better. Now this project requires a whole lot of patience but there is some sort of therapy that you get uh, when, you, when you're working on a project. Uh, you don't know how it's going to turn out but you know exactly what you have in mind and just the fact that you're going through the process makes the results worthwhile. Um. 
so now you're seeing all four tires have been packed right up to the brim where the inner part of the tire is there is not much space here now as you can see because we have not yet finished demolishing the rest of the garden space but in time that will be done So now my dad is going to do a bit of carpentry work and then some masonry work to cast a column, I should say, around the tires. That is to prevent the heat that of course will be generated from the tires from coming into contact with the rubber. And here is part of our sweet potato stash that we reaped from our sweet potato beds. And if you have not yet checked out our how to cook sweet potato leaves video as yet, click on the link down below. It will take you right to it. And here we have another helper on board to make sure that the boards are well secure. Hi, Mathani. So now that we have this structure around the tires, what we'll do now is to pour some concrete around the perimeter just to ensure that the tires do not come into direct contact with heat. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you next week for part 3.